South Haven, Connecticut. We are currently at the Cedar Hill Railroad Depot. This was once the, a major hub of railroad activity on the East Coast, one of the biggest connection places in the East Coast. It's nice and abandoned now. So we're going to walk around through here, check it out. Our first stop will be this building. It's right over my shoulder. So stick around and enjoy, man. I'll be back in a second. So we found this building. We're going to try to see if we can't get inside. Hey, look, it's Washington. I always find racist stuff, too. Satan stuff, racist stuff. Haven't come across any religious stuff or any penises yet, but I'm sure I will. And, yeah. There's a stairwell right there. <laughs> Too bad it's way up there. That's of little use to us. Oh, it looks like the only way in, I think. Can you climb that ladder? Huh. I don't think we're going to be doing that. I don't want to be fighting with these vines. Let's go check out this tower, though, since we're over here. Well, this one don't have no safety rails. Long way up. Look at these tires. These things are huge. Hey, this one got a tree or shrubbery growing out of it. I'm gonna swing the camera around like this a bit. Well, oh, there's my hand. Just so you can get a look at the size of these tires. And there's part of the train track, so we're on the right track. Get it? Right track? Guess so. This is an old part of the old train station. Some kind of relay or power junction or something. It's right here next to these tracks. If you look, these tracks go to set here, and another set. There's a set right there, another set there, and if you look up, there's more over there. There's like five, six different sets of railroad tracks that are still here. Oh, check this out. There's even some ties left. I'm so glad I chose today to come out here in the fall because if I came out here in the summer like some of my other videos, I would definitely be rummaging through nature and have nature all over me. I'd have to look for ticks and pick off little Klingons. But today is fall, so it's easier to get through this stuff. This is some of my favorite parts of doing this. When you come to a structure like this, and you got all the graffiti, or urban art, or however you want to call it. This is some kind of old trail, like, so water could run off. So here we go. You can hear my voice echoing. It's really cool. So basically there's not a whole lot of graffiti down here, but I'm also surprised that there's not a whole lot of spider webs. Thank God. I hate walking into spider webs. But, but there's the end. 
Whoa, a little muddy. A little muddy there, I found that hole. Hey, a spray paint can. They didn't spray paint down here though. Oh yeah, there's the end. Some old wood. The structure seems fairly well intact. There it is. Oh, I guess I could go under here. Look at that. I'm not going to because it's all muddy. But, uh, see what's over there? There's a whole lot of the same. Looks low. So, yeah, we'll turn them back because we're not crawling through the mud. Alrighty. See what else this place has to offer. This is also right above that other thing that we just went through. So we're going to go through here now and see what there is. This one you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, you can see that got some cans here, little mattress. This was somebody's home I believe. A lot of debris laying about. Still not much graffiti except for this 666 thing which you can't really see very well. We'll, we'll put it on. Maybe you can make it out. Hell. <laughs> like I said, one of the things you always find in the graffiti satanic stuff. I don't know what this old wood was for. Maybe it blocked all this off at one time. There's some, some metal pipe. Of course, more graffiti. This one thing looks like part of the train. Oh, it's heavy. It's stuck in there. Yeah, that looks like it could be part of, part of the brakes of the train. Pretty cool. Come out. To the back side. Let's go up here and see what it looks like from up here. A lot of leaves. Oh, railroad tracks. More of the railroad tracks. So, think we should follow these? And see if they take us to the railroad yard? I do. Oh look, the trail. Look at that. How nice. Oh, here's another piece of the old... Looks like, uh... Oh, this looks like part of the train. Got a spring. Oh no, this is... They would cross the tracks with this. Open it and close it. So the tracks would open and close right over here. Oh wow! What the hell? Look at a fire hydrant! Oh! Be careful! Don't want to fall down there! Look at this! There's a chimney. And it goes down. I'm gonna come around here. You can see the piping coming through. Right through the building. You can see the piping just hanging out there. It's all kinds of metal, drums, and kinds of debris. Broken glass. There's like a window right here. And this looks like it may have been a lamp. Yep, that was one time a lamp. Now, it's just a rusted metal. Got more tracks over here. This other metal kind of piping, shooty thing. 
But what we do have too in a good repair, well not good repair, just able to maintain the weather, are these steps. So let's check out this little place. Give me some kind of pump, you can see it would turn the wheel. You know, there'd be some kind of banding or rope or something on there. I don't know exactly what they're doing, probably pumping fuel to the trains maybe. And here's some metal debris and some bricks. Here's a good sign. Are you alive? I sure hope I am. Hey, it looks like someone was late. So, there's these tracks here, and they lead up to this big, you may not see it yet, because it's overgrowth, but you keep going up, and there's a huge tower over there. There's a ladder to that tower. All the way up there. Do you want me to climb that ladder? But you'd love to see me go up there and film from the top, huh? Yeah, too bad I ain't doing it, though. <laughs> that is a long way up to a lot of twigs. And I would probably drop my phone and break it. Don't want to do that. I'm not going to climb up the ladder. I'm going to try to get in the middle, though. I want to see what this place looks like, standing in the middle, looking straight up. So, grab on, see if I can't find a way up. So, got onto that thing, now it's just getting into there. That is an incredible view. Check it out. I don't see stuff like that every day. electrical poles and if you look there's another one of them huge ass towers we'll check go down and see what else we can find this is one hell of a hike yeah, look at that private property look at that old track layer well not old more modern now I guess still looks kind of old I'm itching to go over there Look at this thing. Showed it to you a second ago. But now I'm right up close to it. We're gonna go check it out. Whew. Yeah. Hearing in protection. Hey look, a rubber shoe. Wow, this thing hasn't been used in years. This is definitely a abandoned vehicle. You can see where this conductor sat though. The heater over there. Wow, this thing is full of rocks. So they would dump the rocks out onto the track right here. Let's see what's over on the other side. I 
<laughs> Someone broke up the window. So yeah, this is the old track layer. Right along the tracks and then put the ones down in front of it. Look at it. I don't look like I can get in though. Probably climb in there though. I won't. See the instrument panel? Pretty cool. So we're gonna go head over to this building over there by that tower now. There's old sledgehammer. <laughs> John Henry sledgehammer. <laughs> so we're almost over to these buildings. We're gonna check them out. See if we can't get inside. And then we got these stacks over here. Like railroad line stacks. So we'll go up and find more, see if we can't find anything else down the way. And there's a tall tower. Wondering what that stick is. Is that a giant nest or something? Kind of crazy. It seems like a weird place for sticks to land. We're going to check out this place. So, this is the building. And we can obviously get in right here. Some interesting little, you know, all the, looks like all the copper has been taken out of here. There's a little door to something. It's empty. Did I scare you? So yeah, this place is pretty neat. Yeah, we're gonna come up here. This rusted out ladder. This rusted out barrels. Take a walk over here through this. A lot of rusty metal here. You gotta be very careful. If you trip, you're gonna get impaled. Man, that's gonna suck. Like I always say, never come out to a place like this alone. Always bring a somebody. That way, if something should happen, at least they could call for help. They could fly out and they could bring a uh -oh, hearse out here and drag you away. And here we go. <sighs> up and up. All these vines are in the way. That's all right. We'll get up there. See what's up here. Very steep. I don't know if I want to go up any further. This don't look very safe. Yeah, that's what it looks like inside. That's pretty cool right there. Hell of a view too. See some of the old tracks. That thing is insane. Here we are, kind of the end of the line here. This is uh, the old storage house. There's a door over there, so we'll definitely go inside. Definitely got some kind of equipment in here. I think this is a refrigerator. Some old lockers. That hose looks kind of new.
Hope you enjoyed our hike through the old Cider Hill train depot. It's been a really cool video. I enjoyed coming out here. Came out with an old friend. Kept him off camera mostly. And uh, you know the routine. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. See you next week. So I parked behind this BJ's to get to get here. But you know, you can't have BJ's if you don't have dicks. <laughs>